okay you guys all I've done is put a little bit of my gardening soil from outside in the garden in the raised bed it was almost 65 degrees today so the ground was warm I took some of that good soil outside of my garden and I put it in these buckets and I put it in some of my containers y'all know where everything came from okay okay thank you so much for being here yes you guys so I took a little my uh, potting uh, gardening soil from my garden then I added a little bit of I told y'all add a little bit of regular potting soil especially when you're growing in containers and these are going to be in my house uh-huh these are going to be in the house on the grow light I told y'all my grow light is made to grow food okay 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 so I put a little bit of my regular garden soil I put a little potting mix my favorite black cow I use a little bit of that all right handful of that added a handful of perlite can I get that in the can? All right, a handful of perlite. You guys, when you're doing your container gardening, just go ahead and spend five, ten, or twenty dollars. I know we all don't have that sometimes, but if you're gonna do something with your containers, you're gonna have to go ahead and invest just a little bit. Okay, cause we ain't got no money. Anybody got no money to be doing all that? But I recycle and reuse mine. But always add a little bit of extra into it. Add a little bit of bone meal. That's what I did for mine. I didn't add any blood meal. Just a little bone meal. Gave it a little shake and feed, fertilizer, and some worm castings. Yes, you guys. Uh huh. Seems like a lot, but that is how I grow everything that I grow. And people are like, okay, well, how's your gardening coming out like it's coming out? And this is what I did I added all that into my container. And now all I'm going to do is just mix it up together. Okay? just mix it up together and I'm just using one of my little I call it a little fork the camera turned didn't it y'all I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I told y'all my camera acting up can y'all see me okay just mix it all up together I haven't watered it yet I'm just mixing all the ingredients together from the bottom up from my um, gardening soil out in my backyard and the raised beds and, and things that grew things amazingly yeah and we're gonna put some tomatoes in these y'all see that you see the perlite the, the little white flakes coming up can y'all see me I know I have my, my my light on out here and I'm just going down and I'm gonna do it a little bit more but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to just make your own great potting mix indoors or outdoors okay okay thank you guys so much for being here y'all thank you thank you thank you i think we're almost at 30,000 30,000 subscribers and family members i love you guys you're not my subscribers you're my family members i should be doing this in front of the camera i'm all over the place y'all this camera is doing its own thing i was trying to get all my buckets for y'all uh-huh yep <clears throat> move one slide one yep I did regular garden soil at the bottom from out in the dirt outside and then I did potting mix cow manure my black cow perlite bone meal worm castings and some fertilizer and these are going to be my containers y'all okay this is my container soil. This is how I make my container soil. Okay. And I have to go through and do all of these. But I'm not going to hold you that long. I'll show you when I come back. And we're about to plant some indoor tomatoes. We're going to grow indoors. Okay. Okay. And maybe some champion collard greens. See you in a second. Okay, you guys, we're going to pot up two plants today. We're going to be doing some champion collards from Honest Seed Co. Now, I started these on December 23rd, and look how beautiful they are. Grown indoors. Yes, you guys, don't just put your plant outdoors when you've been growing them indoors. You have to acclimate them to outside, and I'm doing this at night, so they're not going to be sunburned or anything like that. 
and it's a beautiful night in Richmond, Virginia, Zone 7. We're in the 60s. And this is a chat with Cherry from Valley Green. Okay? A chat with Cherry from Valley Green. And I also have a chat with Cherry from Baker Creek that I wanted to plant. And that may have disappeared. But I know I had a, a, a valley, a, a, a Baker Creek. So here we go. Oh, that's Chapter Cherry Valley Green. Oh, well, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all know how I do. I'll leave the camera in a minute trying to get it together for y'all. But yeah, y'all, these are some other seedlings that we have going on right here. You see all these seedlings right here? Uh huh. We have some champion collards and all that good stuff. But today we're going to plant this champion collard into a five-gallon bucket from the Dollar Tree. Oh, there's my other plant I was looking for. Oh no, no, it ain't. This is still Valley Green. But yeah, this is gonna. We're gonna plant a cherry tomato. And you guys, if you look at the cherry tomato or any tomato plant, you see these little fuzzies along the stem I'm trying to get it you see those little fuzzies those are roots okay so when you go to pot up your plant go ahead and plant those roots on up and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now I'm not gonna hold you long so we're just gonna do uh, a tomato plant and you guys I grow tomatoes indoors and outdoors and I have a greenhouse so you might be like this Randy is too early but I have a greenhouse and I've also grown tomatoes indoors you can do it tomatoes you can grow all year long y'all I don't know about it told y'all they ain't gonna like that you saw my videos before so what I'm gonna do is show you how to plant up your uh, tomato plant now I just showed you how to do the soil so we just wanna give it a little tapping like that not a packing just a tapping and then take my hand and go right down in the middle. Right down in the middle. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Right down in the middle, just like that. Just make a hole around the edge. And then gently take your cherry tomato out of the cup. This is how easy it is to grow in the cup, you guys. As you can see, planted 111, transplanted on 126. And look at the root system. Y'all see that? You want to catch it before it starts to wrap around at the bottom. You don't want it to wrap around at the bottom. You want a little bit, you know, it's, it's just about to wrap around the bottom. That's why we're transplanting, okay? So what I do is pinch off the bottom leaves. Make sure I'm capturing everything. Pinch off these bottom leaves. Mm -hmm, they're just sucking up energy. You can pinch off those bottom leaves. And we're not, we're not even ready for this to go in the ground yet. So pinch off those right there. You see? See how it looks? It looks drastic, right? But see all these leaves right there? They're going to make a strong tomato plant. So I just go down in here and I dig it all the way up to where the stem starts. Can I show y'all that? We're up here where the stem starts. You guys, I'm doing this at night. I'm sorry. Right there where that stem starts. So I'm going to go all the way up there. So I, I dug enough space. And you can break your root bulb up a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. And then just cover it up with that good soil we just made. Cover it all the way up. You can build a mound if you want, like that. Build a mound around it. Give it a little press. Not a mashing, just a press. Mm -hmm. And even add some more soil all the way around. You guys are going to be amazed at how this plant turns out, okay? I did it last year the same way. And you see how far I buried it up? And it was tall at, at first, and now it looks really short <laughs> in this bucket because we pot it around. And, and all that stem, the roots on that stem, that's going to make this plant so big and huge, you guys. And we're going to grow this one indoors. I'm going to show you the uh, cherry tomato from Valley Green. How it looks. And I have another cherry tomato from Valley Green. And I'm going to leave one in the cup. And I'm going to put one in this bucket. Well, I've already done that. And then we're going to see the difference in seven days. I'll be right back in seven days. 
Now for the same thing with our champion collard greens. These were planted on December the 23rd. You guys, these are really ready to go into the ground outside if it was time, but it's not time. So what I'm doing is growing them in a bucket. I'm growing them for educational purposes. This is what it should look like. You know, if you started yours around December the 23rd, today is February the 10th. So not even two months, about six weeks. But I'm just going to show you how to plant this plant up. And I, I have several that are the same plant. But we're just going to put one in the ground. Both of these were planted the same day. Look how beautiful these plants are, you guys. How beautiful. We're going to put one in the bucket today. And we're going to leave the rest in the cup for seven days. And I just want to give you guys an idea of, of what happens. So we're going to dig our little hole again. And with this plant, it's kind of short, so I just put, take my cup and put it in there like that so I can know how far around to go. And then I take my cup out and gently squeeze my plant out. Look at that. The roots have not coiled around at all. Look at this plant. It's beautiful from seed, from Honest Seed Co. If you have not checked out HonestSeedCo.com, check them out. I have a link in the description box. Please use that link, you guys. It helps out the channel. But yeah, can you see the roots? They are not root bound. And we're just going to sit it right down in that container, just like that. And then just back seal around the sides. Just a little bit. Can you all see what I'm doing? Just around the sides, just a little bit. Okay. And then give a pressing around the edges. You know, smooth it out. Make it easy. Love on your babies. They'll love you back. And so, we've planted a champion collard green. I'm going to put that cup in there so I don't forget. And we've planted a cherry tomato from Valley Green. So, yeah, you guys. This is up planting your plants from the cups into larger containers. If you want to transfer them from this into a red cup, that's up to you. And then you'll have to do it again when it comes to these containers. Now, I've grown tomatoes indoors with these Dollar Tree buckets. So, we're going to try it again. I'm going to plant some more. I have 15 buckets to go. But I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. I thank you so much for being here. I hope this helps you out just a little bit. Don't forget to live, love, laugh, grow stuff, and eat it. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love you. You're the best. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not too many. So go check out Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye.